Okay. So, <coughs> there's a practice called self-inquiry, which is to inquire into what's the nature of myself. What, who or what am I? So, when I experience, so one way to do that, one way to look at the, the practice of self-inquiry is to think of a mug. See, this is a mug. So, this is an object, right? And if you're, now, if, you know, if, you, and the thing with an object is it, it's got a shape. It's a limited shape, see? So, the observer, so, when you're, we're on camera, but if you want to speak, you can, but you'll be on camera. Um, when observing this, are you this? Is this you? Yes or no? No, it's not. So when you observe something, the observer of something that is smaller can observe the limits of that. Yeah? So you, can, you are observing this shape. The shape is not you. Also, there's detachment. You see, there's a very, very clear awareness that the mug is not you. There's clear, detached observation that the mug is not you. So this is very, and this is, now notice that this is experiential. What I've asked has got nothing to do with thinking. It's got nothing to do with rationalizing it. This is an experiential, you, one is experiencing clearly in, a, in an experience that the mug is not, is not myself, okay? So, now also the thing with the mug is a mug can be here or a mug can be not here, and yet there will be observing of the mug being here and not being here. And also, if the mug passes before you, even as the mug passes, if the mug is right in front of you, you're still not the mug. And if the mug is not here, you're still not the mug. So you're here whether the mug is here or not. So that's, that's all quite clear, isn't it? So the mug is, is an object which can be in front of you, or it can be not in front of you, or it can be passing before you. But in all these situations, it's clear in experience that the mug is not you. Okay? So the ne next thing is thoughts. Okay? Thoughts. So thoughts are passing. Sometimes there can be lots of thoughts. Sometimes there can be no thoughts for a while. Sometimes there can be many thoughts or fewer thoughts. So they pass, don't they? So if there's a thought, if, uh, has everyone experienced even a moment when there's been no thoughts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Has everyone experienced it? even a, like a brief moment? So, okay. So like we've agreed that if there is a mug in front of you, not the mug, and when the mug is not in front of you, you're still not the mug. So thoughts are passive. So there is something that is observing thoughts, which is not thought. You with me? Yeah. Okay. This is, this, is, this is not an intellectual thing, this is, ex this is an experiential thing. Okay, good. So there is an experience that even though thoughts are coming and going, there's something here which observes thoughts coming and going, and there can be no thoughts, or, the, or there can be thoughts, but still one is not the thoughts, because they're like the mugs that come and go. Okay. So the next one is uh, pictures, or images, or memories. So right now, I mean, a picture can come from when you're three years old, or a picture can come from, you know, or you can visualize the future. So there can be pictures held in consciousness, there can be no pictures held in consciousness. But they, they can come and go, or there can be no pictures. So experientially, that which observes pictures, is that a picture? Sorry? Okay, if, there's, if I have a picture when I was three years old, yeah in front of me right now. Being in the position of the observer of that, the witnesser, I can call it the observer, the witnesser, the perceiver, is the perceiver a picture of the picture? Yeah. No. Good, that's the right answer. So thoughts can come and go, pictures can come and go. Um, the body, yeah, so the body. The body, like so we had the mug, yeah? So the mug has a shape. The observer of the shape is not the shape. Is that correct? The observer of the mug is not the mug. It observes the shape of the mug. And it knows when the shape is here and when the shape is not here. But the shape is not, the observer is not the shape. Yeah. Okay. So, 
identification with the body. Like most people uh, have identification with the body. So there's awareness of the dimensions of the body. Yeah? That, can you be that which is observing the body? The, the, the perceiver or the witnesser of this. Yeah. Let's say this is a mug. Yeah. There is a perceiver or an observer of this here now. Mm -hmm. You experience? Awareness. Or awareness of yeah, it's uh, it's Okay, so. Maybe that's to my, to my work. Yes, that's true. That's true. Now, don't, don't think about it. I'm not asking you to think about it, but it's true. So, so if there is attachment to the body, yeah, then there is that, so there is observing. When there's attachment, there becomes enmeshment. It's, it's hard to get the distance. But you're not, you're not this mug, are you? Mm -hmm. no. So it's an object. Mm -hmm. So there is detached observing of this object. So this is also an object. Something, uh, you know, it can, uh, so something is observing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you, do you experience the observing? Yeah. The observing of this is not this. Is this clear? Yeah. Okay, good. So, something observes location. So most people track or identify with location. So there is the... Uh, most people will experience, oh, this body is here in this location. But something observes or perceives or is aware of location. That which is, see, this is an experiential, this is an ex experiential question, it's not really a mental thing. That which experiences or observes location, is that in location? No, good, good, yes. Okay, now time. Time. Something tracks time. Something is like interested or identifying with seconds or minutes. But something is observing time. There is an observer of time. There is a detached witnessing. In this place of witnessing or observing of time, does time exist? Not good. Okay. So it, now, this experience, this, this which is perceiving or observing or witnessing, but time, where time does not exist, that which witnesses location, where no, location does not exist, that which witnesses the passing of thought, where thought does not exist. Yeah. So this now, so we're in the experience of this, and all these things can pass in front of it, but it is none of these things. Is this experience, this which, uh, which witnesses all, is there any form of limitation or contraction in this place? No, no good. Okay, so put this off.